never know who you're going to pass on the streets, do you? It's a great images, aren't they? Um, it is 17 minutes past six. Good morning to you. Carol has the weather for us this morning. Hello, Carol. Looks sunny on the streets there on Wednesday. Is it going to continue this week? For some of us, yes, it is, Naga. Some of us already have some sunshine. It's a mild start to the day. Temperatures widely 11 to about 16 degrees. But it's going to be windy, especially so in the northwest over the next few days. That wind slowly easing during Sunday. So sunny spells and blustery showers sums it up quite nicely. We've got this weather front, the dregs of yesterday's front, still producing some cloud and drizzle in the southeast. That should clear by mid-morning. It will linger in the Channel Islands and a lot of dry weather. But as I mentioned, windy, gusts of 55 miles an hour around the Outer Hebrides, some large seas around the Outer Hebrides and Malin Head. And we'll also have a plethora of showers across Scotland and Northern Ireland in particular, some of those heavy and thundery with some hail. We also see a line of showers, say, at the southwest, heading up towards Gloucester, but they will be more isolated. Temperatures today, 15 to about 23 degrees. Well, I've started the climb on the A6 towards Shap. Probably two hours at this speed, I reckon. Better get up to about another thousand foot up. Halfway up. Can I? Windy! Eight hundred. Headwind, uphill. Oh. Go in steady way and you get there at the end of the day. Nine hundred. Don't get blown into the curb, Wayne. Fuck it out, this wind's getting impossible. It's almost blowing me off the bike. Dearie me. Oh, I have to stop and take my glasses off before I get blown off.
going to manage without these on my head for a while. The wind is that bloody strong, it feels like they're getting ripped off my face. the 800 foot to get up to the bloody summit yeah it's going to be mad up there well can't have a camera on the helmet anymore it's too bloody dangerous it's going to go on the handlebars it's going to be I'm at 850 feet I've got to get up to 1500 the winds mad so Put the camera on the handlebars. Nine hundred foot headwind. Hard work. Summer bloody conditions can be dangerous. Thousand feet, four hundred to go or so. Yeah, even in June, bloody mad wind. One thousand one hundred feet, and I'm going to stop in this layby, put some power on the cramp nav. I'm going so bloody slow, it's running out of power. I don't know if you got that, I got applause off the lorry driver. <laughs> oh dear me. Ah. Right, so. Whew. 300 foot to go. In that direction. Headline hard to go downhill. Bloody hell. Low gear. Headwind. One thousand two hundred feet. I'm just in the lee of a headland I think it's going to get mad in the next 200 1300 100 or so to go headwind I'm in a pretty damn low gear and push it hard uphill I 
think I can see the top about 400 yards away Hear the wind whistling in the power cables Ah, fucking hell I hope that's the top 1,413 feet so far. Ah, fucking wind. 1,413 feet. Over there. Chapbothy, I think that's just something at the top of the hill. Just cresting it now. Ugh, forget that, right? Bloody wild! There we go. I hope I'm at the top of the sucker. Although, can't see. Well, it's now 6:28. If I'm getting close to the top, I should be at the digs for half past seven, because I've got about 1,500 foot of downhill to do. Which I'll have to do careful just because of this bloody wind. I don't know how much more there is to go, but if there is some more, hopefully in the next 20 minutes, half an hour, I'll have it cracked. Right, let's go find some accommodation. And get out of this bloody wind.
might go downhill, but I'm going to have to be dead careful otherwise. If I get blown off at speed, I'll kill myself. Bloody wind! Bloody hell! It's bouncing off this rock face! Turbulence is bloody incredible! I've never felt anything like it. It's more dangerous coming downhill than it was going up. Bloody hell! Well, as you can see, I made it. Um, I'm in the Shakespeare Inn um, room, comfortable. It's about uh, 7 a.m. now. Um, next day, I'm feeling pretty good, actually, you know, considering that I think that's one of the hardest days I've ever done uh, on a bike by a long shot. That headwind was murderous, uh, dangerous. All I can say is thank God it wasn't raining because... Um, or any colder, because there was no way, there was times when I thought, I'm not getting across this. It was that hard going. But um, anyway, it's all part of the journey. So there's another leg ticked off. Um, hope you enjoyed watching that little bit of video of uh, Fat Man struggling in a bloody headwind. Um, and uh, let's move on. See you in a bit.